Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending, 155-pound champion of the UFC, the notorious Conor McGregor. Baby, we did it. I couldn't hear, I couldn't hear anything they, they, those uh, motherfuckers said. Thank fuck. This boxing press conference is a completely different setup than we're used to. But um, 20,000 people, it's, it's mind blown. I'm absolutely honored to be here before you to give you this great spectacle. And somebody's O has got to go. He's in a fucking tracksuit. He can't even afford a shoe anymore. <laughs> the roses are 2012 outside. He is fucked. There's no other way about it. His little legs, his little core, his little head. I'm gonna knock him out inside four rounds, mark my words. I always said, I always said, I will eventually rise up and be in association with, if you zoom in right there over my left shoulder, you can see, you can see on the poster, McGregor Sports and Entertainment. I rose up and I became in association with. What can I say? I'm a young, confident, happy man that has worked extremely hard for this. I have worked very, very hard for this. So I am just up here embracing everything. Nobody's gonna do nothing. Nobody can do nothing up here to me. I can do what the fuck I want up here. So I'm just enjoying myself, having a good time. Um, and that's it. As far as the fight, he will be unconscious inside four rounds. The movement, the power, the ferociousness. He's not experienced this. He's fought people who have shied away from him. I don't fear him. I don't fear this limited set of, 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 of fighting. This is a, this is a limit, limited set of, of rules that makes this half a fight, a quarter of a fight. This isn't a true fight. If this was a true fight, it wouldn't even take one round. How's this suit look? It's a cracker. An August McGregor line, I've got my own line of suits coming out. If you zoom in on the pinstripe, it says, fuck you. Uh, now look, I'm just blessed. This press conference is a little different to me. They try and catch me off guard all over the place. Just try over, didn't even know I had to like, give a speech. But uh, I'm just enjoying it. All these rules, all these restrictions. It doesn't faze me, it amuses me. The gloves, they have to be 10 ounce, 154 pounds. He, he's never fought at 154. I think he's fought at 154 maybe once. He wants the gloves up. No problem. Give him the gloves up. I, I'll wear 10 ounces. No Mexican-made gloves. Okay, no problem. No gloves made out of horse hair. All right, no problem. I don't give a fuck. We don't, we're only wearing gloves in our game about five years. So I don't give a shit about gloves or any of that. I'm just enjoying it. It's, it's funny to me, all these rules. and All I need is a gum shield. Line me up to the ring, and I'm good to go, so. I don't know what else to say, I'm just feeling so good, I swear to God, I can't believe contain it. Shout out to my little son, Connor Jr. watching back home. I'm a daddy now. Uh, he, he, he is the perfect uh, motivation for me. To go, and, to go and once again conquer the supposed unconquerable. My little boy, to provide for him and to, to provide for him and to set him up for life. I mean, what more motivation could you need? I just look at him and it's like, pushes me on to keep going and keep doing these record breaking events. I mean, no one's done this shit before. You gotta give me that. No one's done this. No MMA guy has crossed over like this. There's been a few times in history where 
people have crossed over. Muhammad Ali fought Antonio Inoki um, in Japan many years ago under MMA rules. He, he thought at the time that was a wrestling contest, so that wasn't, um, that wasn't like this. Then James Tony, who had a very big problem with the sport and a big problem with the UFC, very similar to the way Floyd has, but he crossed over into our world. Floyd has a problem, but doesn't want to come over and deal with it. He wants me to come over his side. That's no problem, I'll do that. That's confidence. So, um, look, let's get this world tour started. Let's have fun. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, the reigning, defending, 155-pound champion of the UFC, the notorious Conor McGregor. Baby, we did it. I couldn't hear, I couldn't hear anything they, they, those uh, motherfuckers said. Thank fuck. This boxing press conference is a completely different setup than we're used to. But um, 20,000 people, it's, it's mind blown. I'm absolutely honored to be here before you to give you this great spectacle. And somebody though has got to go. He's in a fucking tracksuit. He can't even afford a suit anymore. <laughs> the roses are 2012 outside. He is fucked. There's no other way about it. His little legs, his little core, his little head. I'm gonna knock him out inside four rounds, mark my words. I always said, I always said, I will eventually rise up and be in association with, if you zoom in right there over my left shoulder, you can see, you can see on the poster, McGregor Sports and Entertainment. I rose up and I became in association with. What can I say? I'm a young, confident, happy man that has worked extremely hard for this. I have worked very, very hard for this. So I am just up here embracing everything. Nobody's gonna do nothing. Nobody can do nothing up here to me.